Yes, I did that. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. He's nervous, but on the surface, he looks calm and ready. Mic drop. <laughs> I actually don't think I've ever done a cooking video before on my channel. I love Eminem. I always have. One of my dying wishes is to go to an Eminem concert before I die, so. I just love my white man that talks fast. Anyways, so of course, when I saw that he was launching his mom's spaghetti pasta sauce, this is not sponsored by the way, like at all. So I'm gonna be completely unbiased. I'm gonna try it. Obviously I'm not making this much pasta, but I was like, I woke up super early so that it wouldn't sell out on me. Secured two bottles just in case I really love it. I have another one. Let's get to cooking, y'all. Um, why do they say it like that, y'all? I'm not gonna lie, my kitchen light kind of sucks. So let's see if this, oh, wow. Ah, wait, this is so like HD. I wrapped my kitchen pink. Um, it took a really long time and I cried a lot, but it looks really good, I think. <laughs> I, I don't know how to do cooking videos. Like, what do I do? Do I just, do I, I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> So let's address the elephant in the room, yeah? Where have I been? Why haven't I been posting? Um, hold on, let me fill this with water first. I mean, this is the stuff I should be showing you guys. I'm just filling the pot with water. Like, I do not need a whole cinematic shot of that. I will be making the whole entire spaghetti pack because I'm making some for my neighbors too so they can try it and get their rating. Okay, so I just set the water to boil on high and I'm gonna put some iodized salt in there so that it boils a little faster. I don't know if that actually works or if it's just a myth, but I do it all the time. Anyways, back to the elephant in the room. Um, so I haven't posted in a while. I know. I know. Take take me officer it's honestly a combination of things um so i actually did upload a vlog like two weeks three weeks ago i don't know time is all blending together recently <laughs> it was about me going to playboy headquarters and working with playboy blah blah, blah and I'm the, a majority of the comments were what the hell hello okay Anyways, so a majority of the comments were, what, why, why? Oh girl, it died. No more fancy lighting, <laughs> sorry. I, I tried, I tried. Anyways, as I was saying, a majority of the comments were pretty negative. Um, not really towards me, more about me working with Playboy and about Playboy's past, which I totally understand. Um, however, the only reason I did decide to work with them was because they were completely under new management, new, new CEO, new everything. Um, Hugh was the problem and he is now not with us. So, which is why I felt comfortable working with them in the first place and the team is mostly women. But with that being said, a lot of the comments I was receiving on that video were kind of like bashing me for working with Playboy and like, he just felt like ultimately it was best to take the video down. And I was like, you know what? Like a lot of my audience is female and they're expressing to me that they're not happy about me working with Playboy. They're not happy about Playboy as a company, blah, blah, blah. And I do need to listen to those concerns and take them in seriously, you know? And then I got a couple comments telling me that Playboy was pro-Israel. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm not. So I just deleted the whole vlog. Um, and then I also terminated my relationship with Playboy as well. I will say though, spending so much time editing that video and working on that video only to delete it the day I uploaded it was kind of unmotivating for me. I was like, damn, I literally spent so much time on this video and nobody forced me to take it down. I personally wanted to take it down, but I don't know. I just, I was like, it's just unmotivating. You know, when you spend a lot of, like, for example, let's say like your teacher was like, 12 page essay due two days from now and you do the essay and then the teacher was like what do you mean guys i was just kidding like who who's asking for a 12 page essay 
That was a really bad an analogy. <laughs> yeah, so I was, I've just been kind of unmotivated because it was a lot of work and then I deleted it the day of oh, whatever, self-explanatory. I did want to come on here and let you guys know that I am no longer work working with Playboy. It was very short-lived until I found out the information I found out. If you guys are not aware, there is a genocide happening in Palestine right now. I will be putting links in my um, description for you to learn more, for you to donate. But you also want to be careful with which links you're donating to because I donated and then shortly after found out that that wasn't the correct I, I don't know with that being said I will put the correct links for everything in my description my prayers are with Palestine and Gaza right now and I just really hope that this can all come to an end soon and it's just so disheartening it's also like living with the guilt of like having to go on about your life i'm doing what i can and i would hope that you guys are too i just wanted to make a statement about palestine and use my youtube platform um because i've been using instagram but i feel like my larger one is obviously youtube so but yeah being unmotivated about uploading it really sucks because for a really long time and still like youtube is my creative outlet you know i really have fun doing youtube um I, i've never felt like this before but recently i started to where i was like i actually really hate being perceived <laughs> Honestly, I just needed that little break and I'm kind of over it, but I was like, I can't do this <laughs> I need to delete my digital footprint and leave But I don't know. I feel like that's just so like girl coded Like that's just such a girl thing where you just like every few weeks you're like I want to delete everything and go off the grid and Nobody should have access to me or my Instagram or anything, you know, that's just kind of the vibe I was on <laughs> All good now <laughs> That was definitely a factor and then also like like Fridays kept passing without me uploading a video and it kind of felt like when you forget to text someone back and too much time has passed for you to now reply to their text and without like feeling like shit about it like that's kind of how I was feeling where I was like oh my gosh it's been so long well I can't upload now like what am I gonna say like blah, 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 whatever but I do see all the kind DMs that I get on Instagram of you guys being like, we love you, we miss you, like take your time, blah, blah, blah. And I really appreciate it. Like those, those sweet little DMs mean so, so much to me. I feel like all the Eminem fans that are just here to watch me try the pasta are like, bitch, shut up. Like, can you just get to cooking? <laughs> when I cook, I don't ever, ever use, use measurements or anything or exact time um i kind of just go play by my, my intuition why do i keep glitching holy shit i kind of just go by my intuition with the ingredients and when to stop and blah blah, blah. and it works fabulously fabulously every time so i don't want to hear it i'm not gonna lie though i wish i made more cooking videos because one thing y'all don't know about me is i can i can throw down in the kitchen but nobody knows that because I never make cooking videos. There's so much you don't know about me. I'm gonna be a cooking channel, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's honestly so fun to just cook and talk. I could talk forever, if you can't tell already. I literally can't shut the fuck up. So, if you guys don't really follow me or keep up with me on Instagram or other platforms, then you probably don't know that I have a motorcycle, a pink motorcycle now. <laughs> YouTube probably was like my number one like passion, like hobby activity, but I will say my motorcycle beat it. And that's probably another reason I've been so MIA is because like obviously YouTube was my creative outlet, like my source of having fun, you know? Um, and now that is my motorcycle. So I just, I love them both. I just have to figure out how to evenly split my time because I hate disappearing on y'all, like I hate being inconsistent. I just don't want inconsistent to be a word that describes me, you know? I really hate that and that's what it's giving on YouTube right now and that needs to change. I don't know, like obviously when you have a hobby or a passion that you really, really love, all your time is gonna go into that and that's kind of how it's been lately. You can't blame me, like it's, it's really fun. <laughs> Having a motorcycle and riding and everything has been something I've wanted to do since I was literally a little girl, you know? So it's also very inner child healing. I'm gonna bring you guys a little closer so you can get all the boiling sounds ASMR too, you know? But I feel like I got everything I needed to address like out of the way. I guess like let's talk about life now or what, what should we talk about? Oh, that is the bit that is my biggest ick is when people say 
what should we talk about or what do you want to talk about or what do you want to do and i just said it but you could have signed an autograph for matthew that's my little brother man he's only six years old we waited in a blistering cold for you four hours and you just said no that's pretty shitty man you're like his fucking idol i think honestly a subconscious factor of me feeling unmotivated with youtube too is i hate living in la I'm not gonna lie. I've made some really, really amazing friends and like people I'm so blessed to know while living here and those are definitely the rare bunch and I love them so much with my whole heart. But I will say, LA is not the place for love. And I don't even mean like relationships, like duh, LA is not the place for relationships or love in that sense. Living in LA just kind of makes me want to isolate myself from everybody, I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm scared of people while living here and their intentions and I don't want to be, I don't know. I think I'm gonna just stick with the people, with, with, with what I know, I'm gonna stick with what I know. Spaghetti is one of my favorite, I mean least favorite pasta noodles. I don't know why, I just love the elbows or the penny pasta, so good. Just having to deal with like so many, I don't even want to say betrayals, just like shocks I guess. Due to like, like from social media connections mainly, it like kind of made me resent having followers or having a platform for a little bit. Because it's just like, bro like, this is really all some people see and it's really scary and really weird just have to vet people better i guess see i don't know if i'm allowed to put my own seasonings in here or not or if i should just do the sauce straight up you know okay the ingredient list on mom spaghetti consists of ground tomatoes in puree tomatoes tomato puree citric acid tomato paste filtered water onions sugar garlic carrots canola oil spices what kind of spices babe sea salt and red wine I honestly think this is going to be pretty good. I'm going to try it without any of my own seasonings first. Won't even add salt and pepper. And then we'll get into it. If I don't like it on its own, then I'll add my own seasoning. Let's see what Mama's, Mama's recipe is all about, Mr. Marshall. <laughs> Fuck. We're going to set it to low. Let it simmer. You want to grab your strainer? Let's move you guys over here. Let's drain these noodles. Ooh, my makeup. Ah, I'm gonna droop. Ah. I wanna smell it. Smells like spaghetti sauce. I'm not gonna lie, it does smell really good though. Whoa! Whoa! I just accidentally poured the ha half of the jar. Put your back into it, girl. I honestly made a lot of noodles, so I'm gonna put more sauce in it. Honestly, I might end up using the whole bottle, so it's good that I bought two. Ah! I'm just so excited to try this. Okay, so this is what she's looking like right now. Let me let me give you a close-up. So this is what she's giving right now. I feel like it could still use a little more sauce. I just made so much noodles, but honestly, I'm feeding a lot of people today, so. I'm gonna let it sit for maybe like 10, 15 minutes so the noodles can soak it up, marinate, you know? So before I call my friends over to come try it, I'm gonna take a bite and see if it needs any of my own seasonings, blah, 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 blah. We're just gonna do like a little bite. It's not even hot. Okay. It's spaghetti sauce. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed. Like, it just, I feel like this is really lacking in flavor. <laughs> Maybe there's not enough sauce, but I don't know. I am going to add my own seasonings because I'm going to give it a 7. It's still good pasta sauce. It's just, it's not like, oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this for weeks, pasta sauce. But that's okay. Um, I bet Eminem's mom 
can still throw down in the kitchen. I, I'm not I'm not doubting her ability. So I'm gonna add some basil. A lot, a lot of parsley flakes. I love parsley flakes. Chili powder, garlic salt. Next time when I'm doing cooking videos, do you guys wanna see the food? Like, would you rather see the food and what I'm doing? Or on me, question mark, let me know. For now, I feel like you guys have seen enough of me, so I'm just gonna show you the pasta. Okay. I can work with that. Now we're gonna add some regular salt. And then lots of pepper. I'm gonna put in some sriracha, but not too much so my friends can like add as they want. It needs a little kick. It needs a little something. Now we are going to give that a very good mix. More seasoning all around as I mix it because there's a lot of pasta in here. Have you guys ever tried uh, <laughs> Have you guys ever tried lemon on your pasta? I love it. So yeah, I'm not gonna put it in on the pot, but on my own personal bowl, I will. Don't knock it before you try it. But also, I do love lemon on literally everything. I put lemon on everything, so I don't know. I'm gonna try it now and see if my opinion has changed. Mm -hmm. That is a lot better. That is a lot better. Okay, that's really good. Okay, so I honestly don't know if you're meant to add your own seasonings with with this sauce. I personally thought you wouldn't really have to because the whole appeal is like his mom's. It was so re it's still really good, honestly. I am an Eminem stan. I am an Eminem stan. But I will say, just go to the grocery store and get regular pasta sauce, girl. Like it just tastes like pasta sauce. Here's the pasta in her glory. I'm gonna make their bowls, I'm gonna set the scene. Also, I used the entire jar, so yeah, buying two was a good call. I don't know if I should do like a sampling portion or like a bowl bowl, you know what I mean? Damn, you know what? I should have left some without the seasoning like on the side to have them try it and compare it. And now to make it look pretty, I'm gonna put some parsley flakes on the top for decoration. Look at that. Okay, are you guys ready to eat some pasta? Emily's not here. No! It's, it's video, right? Yeah. So I need to put a shirt on? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put the rest of this in Tupperware for my friend Juan. Everyone is trying mom's spaghetti today, babe. Now for the next. Peyton's here! Hi! Mom's spaghetti, knees weak, pussy's wetty. <laughs> pussy's wetty is crazy. Wait, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Okay, Emily's not here, so I'm gonna eat her bowl. Eat her bowl. Yeah. Wait, what's tea with this? What's special? Give me the rundown. Okay, so basically, he came out with a sauce that was like mom's spaghetti. Meanwhile, six hours later, later that same evening, several days later. Okay, wait, it's cute. It's I'm cute, excited. right? What if I hate it? It's okay. Should I be honest? Be honest. Okay. Not too much though, cause. <laughs> Ready? Spicy. Really? Woo. It's not spicy. Woo. Every time I come over, her shit's spicy, dude. And it's not spicy. There's a cake on my tongue. Why is it tingling then? I put a little bit of sriracha, like the tiniest oh my God. bit. I didn't chew it all the way. You remember that noodle challenge where you stuck it through your mouth or nose and came out your mouth? Ew, no. You were on YouTube <laughs> and you didn't ever see the noodle challenge? <laughs> With my seasoning, I'm going to give it. An eight and a half, nine. It's still not like the best spaghetti Was I've ever Was it spicy had. before? No. Do you want some Parmesan cheese? I feel like Parmesan cheese might be Honestly, spicy. this is gonna be my rating. Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry, let me cool my tongue down first. <laughs> Zero. No, I'm just kidding. Nine. I'll give it a nine. I'll give it an 8.9. I was gagged. <laughs> I was shook. I kind of agree. I don't even know how to rate this. I don't know how to rate anything. Cause I'm like 8.9, but I'm like, I don't know what would make it a 10. She's noodly. She's saucy. She's a little spicy. She's not spicy. She's a little spicy. She's not spicy. Babe, can I see the spices you put in? I'm a t they'll tell me if it's spicy. Am I seeing so pepper? Is that chili powder? Chili powder, yes. It's the slightest bit. The spice didn't dock at any points. Honestly, I'm not sure what docked at any points. I, <laughs> like, sh it's good. Is it spectacular? No, it just tastes like homemade spaghetti, but I like it. 
It's my moment. Can't com I can't really judge the actual mom's spaghetti sauce though. I Honestly, know. it just I, tastes I like saying, regular spaghetti. I should have had you rate it without my seasonings first, but it's okay. It wasn't just. It, I can picture it. What's shit. done is done. It was very boring. There wasn't. It wasn't giving much. I would finish it. You would. Yeah. Okay. Can you help me? <laughs> That made that shit a turn. <laughs> I'll see you guys when the next judgy is judging. <laughs> Bye. I'm making my mom try it. Um, do you know who Eminem is? Oh. Yeah? Oh. This is his mom's recipe, but with my added seasonings. Apparently. Apparently. No, Eminem, the white guy. The rapper. Yeah, Marfus. Oh. Okay. Cut the cameras. Dead end. Come mm. here. Need more sauce. Because I'm tired, John. Yes. Maybe it was a lot of spaghetti. It was a lot of spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you need a little bit more next time. But it's good, I like it. One out of ten. Uh, Hurry, my eight, camera's done. Eight. You know what? Eight is a good number. Okay, mom. I'm kind of offended. <laughs> uh, I turn the camera off and she starts going, mmm. Mm. <laughs> Have ten, you can give me ten. Mmm. Uh. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs>